clean up properly, you'll need a big yellow sponge, a dry microfiber towel, and a water pail. Take your solid clay scrap chunks and place them into bin number one. Clean your tools as much as possible at your workstation to avoid crowding wash bins. Set your clean tools and work pieces aside on a cleaner part of the table. Or better yet, Place your tools and pieces on your shelf so you have fewer obstacles to shuffle when cleaning. When taking used water to bin number two, place your big yellow sponge beneath your water pail to catch drips. Be sure to use your fingers to sieve any tools that may have been missed in your water pail during, during tool cleaning. Wash your water pail and wring out the big yellow sponge multiple times to ensure it's clean before using it to clean the tabletop. With fresh water in your water pail, dip and begin sponging the tabletop. Check the cleanliness of the area you're cleaning by flipping over your sponge. If your sponge has clay on it, then so does the table, and the sponge needs to be wrung out in clean water. The idea here is to clean with clean tools rather than to spread dirty water around the area. Continue cleaning the rest of your tabletop in this way. Cleaning the sponge is needed. Pour out your dirty cleaning water in bin 2 and refresh your water pail with clean water. Finish cleaning your tabletop and be sure to wipe down the wooden siding. Wipe down the top of your stool first with your big yellow sponge and then with your dry and clean microfiber towel. When cleaning any shiny or glossy surface, always use the big yellow sponge first, followed by the microfiber towel to avoid leaving surface streaks from the big yellow sponge. Continue to clean the legs and underside of the stool in this way. Empty your water pail and wring out your big yellow sponge and microfiber towel so they're clean and dried out for your next session. Lastly, it's time to clean the floor, so check the mopping video for information on that.